Right, I made a balls of delivering this while I was actually filming, so now you get obnoxious voiceover instead. This is Casper, aka the Goblin Prince, aka Lump, aka Chaos Gremlin, aka the P Criminal, aka Bin Chicken, aka a solid brick of nightmares. As you can probably guess from the cone and the nappy, Casper has recently had surgery on his nether regions. This is the seventh time in around the past year that he has had this particular surgery. Skip to the time code on screen if you don't want graphic descriptions of cat surgery. Casper's health difficulties began roughly last year when we noticed he was having difficulty urinating. We took him to the vet. The vet said that he had calcium deposits in his urine and blocking up his bladder because his urine had become alkaline instead of acidic. And so we need to give him a specialized diet to re-acidify his urine. So we started giving him the special food and no other kind of food. Th that didn't work. It didn't acidify his urine. It, it didn't stop. So the vet said, right, okay, that's still a big problem. Okay, so what we're going to do instead is we think that it's being blocked because of the narrowest part of the urethra. So we're going to remove the narrowest part of the urethra by splitting the penis in half and sewing the two sides down to the sides of his body. And that was an expensive surgery, but we weren't too worried about it. We thought, right, grand, this'll, this'll solve the problem forever, so we may as well. So we did that. And a few weeks later, he couldn't pee again. He, he just wasn't able to urinate. So we bring him back to the vet. And it turns out the, the new urinary hole they'd cut for him had sealed up. It had, it had healed up. And not like because of any kind of infection or anything. He had just healed from the surgery. He had just recovered from the surgery so well that he couldn't pee anymore. And that's just been happening. Over and over again, this has happened six times now. We keep bringing him in to have a new pee hole cut and it just keeps healing over because he over recovers the overachieving little bastard. Trust us to adopt the cat equivalent of fucking Wolverine. Anyway, this surgery isn't terribly expensive, but we're having to have it done roughly every month, which adds up. It's gotten to the point where we've barely made a dent in the cost of the original surgery because of all of the follow-up appointments and all of the new surgeries we have to give him all the time. And we'd like to at least start from zero. That would be nice. To be able to start from a blank point if we're going to have to be doing this almost monthly. So, my wonderful wife Red has put together a GoFundMe where you can help us at least knock out the initial vet costs so we can work out what we're doing for the recurring vet costs that might last the entire rest of his lifetime. Thank you very much.